There was Star Twins that had a dog, and Lupus was his name. Oh, L-U-P-U-S, 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 and Lupus was his name. Oh, yeah. Anyways, welcome back to Jet Force Gemini. Um, I'm sorry to subjugate oh, you to my on. singing. There we go. I'm yes, okay now. You, you can press start to enter any time. And we are continuing with Lupus, the semi-flying dog. As I mentioned uh, earlier with Vela, every character has their own special ability, and Lupus's special ability is the power of cheating. I mean, hovering. Also, Lupus gets his weapons insanely fast. I mean, look at that. We already got the machine gun and the plasma oh. shotgun before we even bought anything, and what's up here? Ammo capacity crates for both of them. I guess Rare didn't want players to have to slowly acquire the weapons they already acquired with other characters. Yeah, that would be bad. Uh, you know, I'll just save you so you don't accidentally die go over here and grab even more ammo capacity crates. Shoot him! I'm, I'm gonna run into low on ammo. Okay, he's dead. Yay! Oh, look. How am I ever going to get across all those platforms? I just don't know. Suck it! Game! Ammo. Also, since Lupus can't uh, crouch because, you know, he's a freaking dog, pressing C down makes him howl. That serves absolutely no purpose. It's kind of like honking the horn in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. It, it serves no purpose. It's just kind of fun to do. You know what else serves no purpose in Diddy Kong Racing? What? Doing tricks with an airplane. Oh, yeah. It's fun! What's the point? I don't know, maybe sometimes I really need to do a um, split screen episode on Diddy Kong Racing. We should be building this one, at least a lot of ammo. Okay. Now, this we can't just hover across the whole freaking thing. Uh, careful jumping is what? Careful! Yes. Falling would have been bad. You know, speaking of which, uh, you remember uh, earlier in the Let's Play when you commented on me taking fall damage? Uh -huh. I uh, tested this in my own spare time. The most fall damage you can take is one unit of health, regardless of how far you fall. You can fall the maximum amount of height uh, that you, you know, from the highest point there is in this game to fall and only lose, like, one health. Actually, no, wait, I think you can lose more, um... I, I didn't test it from a high enough altitude, actually. Um, but, yeah. So, dis disregard what, what you guys just heard there. I, I should have tested. There's another place I should have tested on. You know, it absolutely makes no difference which door we go in here. Because, even though there's a big gap over there, oh, look, we got lupus, we can fly over it. And also kill this guy. Which, you know, I can really fail at hitting. I think you gotta hit him in the face to do damage. There you go. So, yeah, some enemies are like that. Ooh, the red key, you need that. Like we do with every character. Oh, look, it looks like I went through the wrong door. I gotta go. Oh, wait. Like I said, he has the power of cheating. Especially when we go back to uh, other people's levels with Lupus. Remember the Pistons? Oh yeah, that was so annoying. Yeah, we go back there with Lupus. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having my revenge, Icor military base. Your Pistons are no match for my hovering cheatingness. Oh, by the way, and I don't think I told—I don't think I told you about this, Mike—that I discovered that uh, 
Oh, wow. Good thing I didn't kill that guy. Or that yeah. guy. Or that guy. But, um... It really makes no difference that I'm saving them. I just don't want any deaths on this file. Um... Achievement! Yeah. Um... But, uh, what I was gonna say is that, uh... I discovered, and... Uh... My YouTube followers would know this, because I don't think I've ever, like, advertised it on YouTube, but, uh... I have been doing some live streams for some friends lately of, um, of uh, certain games, like well, Super Meat Boy and stuff, and, uh, and I discovered just today that uh, every live stream I've done has been saved to my computer. This is not necessarily a good thing, considering my hard drive space is kind of low. <laughs> yes, low. We're not talking, like, we initial internal memory low, but, you know, low. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show off just how much Lucas's power really is cheating. See that lava down there? Yeah. Now, this area we're not really supposed to be able to get to with, uh, with Lupus here. We can add another weapon to his arsenal right now. The Shocker. It's shocking. It's an untested weapon that shoots electricity at people and zaps them! Yeah, I was about to say, but what happens when you come out to the lava? That's a good thing I didn't grab this full health, uh, increase item. Gemini capacity Oh, well, that's increasing. convenient. <laughs> yes. I plan ahead. You haven't even opened the strategy guide yet. I remember the stuff. Also, I've been looking at the strategy guide between uh, recordings. And... You know, I've had weeks between recordings, people. Well, between last recording. And we're not even done this video, and we're done Lupus's first level. Boom! Pointless cutscene! We're, like, we're only like half, we're like less than halfway through the video. Yeah, I know. Oh, that reminds me! In the last video, there was a very, very small five-second cutscene of Vela's ship leaving the i military base um, that we didn't record. We could have we could have fit it in, but we didn't. Uh, I completely forgot about it. I apologize to the whole five of you that wanted to see that. As for the rest of you, you're welcome. <laughs> and here we are on planet Rithessa, one of the best looking levels in the game and has some of the best music. Speaking of the music, um, for the last few, uh, for all the last recordings, it was very hard for me to hear the music on the TV. I mean, I know we keep the TV volume down so it doesn't come over the microphone because that's what the capture equipment is for, but, uh, it's like still, it seemed like way too low. Then I checked the options and found that the uh, previous owner of this game had turned the sound Way, way, way down. And I'm like, why would you do that? The music is so awesome in this game. Oh, but then again, this is a person that traded the game in, so maybe they just didn't like the game, period. And here we continue to expand Lupus's arsenal. Just, like, wow. I have no idea. I can't remember what the save files were like on this. I deleted the first one. I know that much. Ah. Uh, Oh, also, there was a joke that I kind of wanted to make in some of the other levels. When uh, you're in certain areas, there's a sound that kind of sounds like a telephone going off. But I never, or a dial-up modem or something, but I never heard it because of the, it counts as music, not, you know, sound effects. And with the background music being turned all the way down, I kind of almost forgot about it. Uh, by the way, we're going to be doing uh, some, uh, we're going to be playing through a few Tales games, like uh, Tales of uh, Symphonia Dawn of the New World, uh, Tales of Vesperia, and uh, Tales of Graces F. Um, and that's, that's, uh, what our, that's what our next project is going to be. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a way of capturing high-definition video. So, uh, I'm afraid I'm not looking forward to seeing the latter two in standard definition. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember, Tales of Graces was originally a Wii game. Yeah. 
and the Wii version never came out over here for oh, some wow. reason. I mean, seriously, the Wii needs more RPGs. It's not like oh wait a minute, Xenoblade and Hop. Uh... Oh, hello, big guy. Big guys. Take the one on the left there. Ah. Careful, there's tribals behind them. Ooh, nasty crate. It's like uh, I was about, I was gonna I was thinking of a quote from Lord of the Rings when I see this guy he's dead but twitching and I'm like he was twitching he was twitching because he's got my axe stuck in his hmm <laughs> violence aren't we Kimberly? <laughs> oh Lego well that's right we got Lego Lord of the Rings coming up I'm. I normally don't get the LEGO games, but uh, that's kind of one I've been hoping they would make for a few years now. Uh, you know, um, I've been, I've been uh, going through games on my backlog trying to beat stuff that I haven't beaten for whatever reason, and uh, I completely forgot there's a rare game on my backlog. Uh, Blast Corpse. Oh boy. That, let me tell you, that game is fun straight. In. I, uh. Rare used to make some really hard games back in the day, and this game is actually one of them. Well, not really that hard, but when we get to the last boss, my gosh. Um. But then again, these are the people that made freaking Battle Toads, after all. Did I? I actually know Rare Made Battlefields. They used to be owned, or a company that used to be owned by Trade Quest. The same people that made, uh, you know, Double Dragon. That's why we kind of had the crossover team up. And in that chest back there, I just grabbed some Tri Rockets. Did I tell you that Double Dragon 2 came out on the Wii Virtual Console the other day? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I think that's the first one on the NES that had multiplayer, if I'm not mistaken. And here we pick up some cluster bombs to cluster boop, everything. Get and it, get it, boy. Good boy. Here we got more health and whoa! I don't even know what that is. That's a dog. Her name's Floppy. Okay. She's gonna kill us. <laughs> She's gonna kill us all! Man, we're... Oh, by the way, uh, rescuing tribals in this next region will actually be worth our time because we can get them all in the first pass. There's only four of them. Oh, wow. We're, we've almost completed two levels in one video. Yeah. I didn't realize Lupus is, uh, stuck. Two minutes, you think you can make it? Let's find out. I do love speedruns. What? That's what the new Super Mario Bros. 2 is all about, speedruns. That's what, uh, some of the Metroid games are about. No, the entire Metroid series is not all about speedruns, you people that think, Oh, well, the other, some of these games don't have sequence breaking and blah blah blah, they're not real Metroid games. Yeah, I don't need all my, uh, ga all the games in my favorite series to stagnate, thank you. If we can't make it, then, you know, we'll pause it in the middle of the, uh, level and just continue. I didn't expect us to get through the spawn ship so fast. I, I usually mess up on that, uh, on that jumping part there, that second one. I cannot believe I landed on that platform. I almost slid off. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Tribal alert, tribal alert. Yoink. Luckily it was up high, so I Oh really... shh nigga! We got a kill! We have a tribal kill! Ah fudge. You know what? Uh we'll just go out and end this video and by the way, I think I know where the tribal was that you killed. Or it could have been me. We we'll have to review the video. Um we won't do that in between recordings, but uh one of us killed it. It could have been me. It honestly could have been me. I think there was We're one, like, right about here. Seconds left. 